for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to our series of videos on CSS box model properties. In this third video in the series, I want to talk about the way some of the box model properties relate to one another when divs are what you're working with. And you can see here, I'm going to go into my source code here, and I have two divs with some text inside of them. One is called box1 and one is called box2. And you're going to see that they're right up against one another. I come into my CSS style sheet and you're going to see the styles for both box1 and box2. The only difference is the color of the background. Now, looking over here at the live view of this, you're going to see the border around these items. And it's actually a two pixel border. And it's been placed on both of these boxes. What I want you to notice here is the width of the border everywhere but in between these two items. This looks thicker because it's actually two two pixel borders. It's the bottom border from this div here and the top border from this div here. So that's always going to appear as being four pixels again, because they're bumped right up against one another. Now let's go ahead and let's see how margin will affect these items. I'm going to come in here to box number one and I'm going to go ahead and say margin and I'm going to go ahead and give this 20 pixels of margin. And I'm just putting one property in, so it's actually going to be 20 pixels top, bottom, left, and right. I'll save and then click in my live view over here, and you'll see there's the 20 pixels of spacing, top, bottom, left, and you actually can't see right, but you'll see that it's been placed in there. Now, a point I want to bring across is that if we also put 20 pixels of margin on box number two here, you're going to see what happens. Margin, margin, I'll click, and there's no overlap. And just to sort of show you how this is going to appear in a browser, I'm going to come here to preview in browser, and I'll select Firefox, and I'm going to say yes, I do want to save the changes, and yes, I want Firefox to be my default browser, and there's the web page, and there are the two items, including the 20 pixels of margin in between the two items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize that, and now you can see I'm back inside of Dreamweaver. So there is a difference here. When we do the border property, the two pixels here will be added to the two pixels here. But when I do margin, this is going to put 20 pixels of margin top, bottom, left, and right. So it puts 20 pixels of margin there. When I come to box 2, you're going to see I also have 20 pixels of margin, but they overlap. Now that's not the case with padding, because padding is on the interior of a cell. So I'm going to go ahead and set the padding property for this also to 20 pixels. And I'll go ahead and save and click over in my live view and you're going to see that I've now got 20 pixels of padding all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and add on padding over here. And again you're going to see that that gets added. But unlike spacing that will overlap or margin that will overlap, padding since it's on the inside of the div will be added so it won't overlap each other. So if I think about the amount of spacing here, I actually have 20 pixels of padding here, a two pixel border for a total of 22. I have some margin here, 20 pixels of margin, which brings me up to 42 pixels. And then I have two pixels here, which would bring us up to 44 pixels. And then finally another 20 pixels here, 
which brings us to 64 pixels. So there are 64 pixels between the bottom baseline of your text here and the top baseline of your text there. And if I go to the View tab and select Rulers and show my rulers, or actually I should go into Design View for this and go out of Live View, you can see my rulers here and you can see, measure roughly how much space there is. I'm going to go ahead and drag this zero point down a little bit and you can measure with the rulers. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.